is the sense in the general public that this is not right. We do not want to live in America where people can create something like this and other people can get rich off. Robert Kirkman's secret history of comics, The Trials of Superman, revealed the shocking truth behind the world's first superhero. Not many people know that when Superman was created in 1933 by two high school students, Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster, the Man of Steel was actually rejected by everyone. You couldn't sell it to anybody, because anytime you have a new idea, everybody thinks it's stupid. Unfortunately, when DC Comics finally gave the last son of Krypton a chance, Jerry and Joe signed a contract that gave up all their rights to the character. Jerry and Joe are being paid well, but not nearly well enough. Donenfeld and Leibowitz are making millions of their creation. In 1947, Jerry and Joe sued DC Comics for the rights to Superman. Sadly, they lost the case and their jobs at DC. It wasn't until 1978, with the release of the first Superman movie, that things finally began to turn around for their creators. They end up giving Siegel and Schuster Woods essentially a pension. They got enough to live off of. They seem pretty comfortable. They can travel. And there's a sense that maybe their fight was in vain. In the end, after nearly 30 years of anguish, Jerry and Joe got Superman back and the justice they deserved. Everybody now fights for their rights. The business has changed. Because everybody learned from Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster.